Good morning, besties. I'm literally using the flashlight on my phone to record right now, and I am not ashamed. About um, like 7.50 in the morning, I have to leave out for work in about 10 minutes. I don't even know if I've ever vlogged this early during the semester where I have actually, like said, I'm on my way to work. Kind of fun, so it's kind of something new. This is day two of me making sure my mornings are everything and more and very meaningful and healthy and a part of my self-care routine at the moment. I'm really, really scared that as I continue over these next two weeks leading up to Christmas break, especially with the next two weeks being pretty intense academically for me and just this semester just being a lot for me. And so as the days go by, I just get more and more tired and fatigued by the semester. I'm not sure how sustainable my morning routine is going to be and specifically how I'll be able to wake up at 7 a.m. every morning in order to do everything by around 8, 8.05. I usually get up at like 7.40 <laughs> and have to leave by 8 a.m. or 8.05 and I still have to shower and put on clothes. So as you can imagine, I'm usually always rushing in the morning. And that's because it's just so hard to get out of bed and I'm usually going to sleep pretty late. I'm just kind of switching a few things around and hopefully that's not the case anymore. Welcome to a new vlog. I don't even think I said that. My name is Tosh and I have this new goal of keeping my intros to no longer than three minutes. So I have to make this kind of quick. I go to Oberlin College. I'm a third year neuroscience major, um, education studies concentration. Um, my morning's off to a pretty good start. The morning yesterday was also off to a really good start because again, that was day one of like getting my life together in a sense. I'm pretty sure I mentioned this in previous videos. This semester has been hard for me. Um, especially emotionally with just making a few changes to my academic plan and dealing with a lot of those emotions it has been hard and I'm just in a place in my life where I know I am not satisfied with the way that my academic life is going and it's very hard for me to engage with anything especially school which is a place that I've always loved so much if I'm just not happy with the way that things are going with my classes so that's just very hard for me it's like I just don't enjoy the work that I'm doing class wise so yesterday evening was pretty hard for me because over these past few days I've just spent so many hours working on my math problem set not to mention I have a math exam on Friday as well and I'm still not even done with it yesterday night was very hard for me and I was just crying a lot because it was just so hard and the problems were so long and I did some of the problems incorrectly which was also very frustrating for me and so it's like I feel like I'm wasting my time I don't know if I am taking the best approach to this class I feel like I'm spending way too much time on these problem sets my morning routine consists of me waking up at 7 a.m. Uh, doing a five minute meditation doing my morning stretches to help my lower back pain which has been helping so much y'all which I'm so happy for very grateful for my morning routine so far it definitely starts me off right I eat a granola bar and an orange I listen to my podcast my goal is to listen to at least 20 minutes of podcast per day because I kind of fell off and I'm so happy that I'm kind of forcing myself to listen to my podcast because it feels so amazing um, and now it's like I don't have to force myself anymore it just comes naturally to me again which I love I usually journal for five minutes and I'm going to actually do that now because it's almost time for me to head out but as long as I leave by like 8.05 I'll be good time wise but anyway let's just get ready to head out before I'm actually late and I can talk with y'all more on my morning walk So we're on route to the elementary school. So I tutor here Monday through Friday, 8.30 to 9.30. So very early mornings, but it works with my schedule really, really well. I take a shortcut to the school. So right now I am behind Stevie. So this is Stevie. And then this is Asia House. So I walk through this parking lot. I'm gonna take y'all along with me. Okay, besties, so this is the last street that I have to walk down. The elementary school is like all the way down this street. I don't know if you can see it from here. Probably not, but just know like behind all of these trees and past all these houses is the elementary school. Of course, I cannot vlog once I am inside. I do too. Listen to Adele. 
for whatever reason, you know, I'm not a huge fan of winter. It's actually my least favorite season, but it looks so pretty out here and it's actually making me so happy. And also the temperature is decent. Like, please, this is actually gorgeous. Okay, hey y'all, so currently about to eat some breakfast. I don't usually get breakfast. I prefer to eat after my last class ends, which is usually at 12 o'clock um, until I have lab. But I have really bad indigestion and I need more probiotics and I don't have any at the moment. So I kind of have to force myself to put a little bit, of, put something in my mouth just to help me over until lunch. So I currently have eggs and ham. So this is what we're eating. I try and stay away from ham as much as possible and pork and stuff, but that's the only meat option they had today. Okay, let's do this update. Okay, I'm eating lunch with Harry. Who doesn't want to be seen? I'm not going to show you. I'm not going to show you. Harry doesn't want to be on my YouTube channel. We're currently in Stevie. I'm not going to show you. <laughs> It was really nice overall. Let's see, I read a whole book. Very exciting. It was a book by Sally Rooney. Mm. Have we talked about her before? Mm. Have you read Normal People or no? Baby, can you focus on me? Y'all, I am so tired. I just got out of physics lab, which is always so long and draining. It is um, five o'clock. I got out of lab like 20 minutes ago. I need to go get food. And then I also have a study session to go to. I want to go to the men's basketball game because y'all know I love me some basketball and I need that serotonin boost even though I've had too many boosts today. But, um, I'm going to go to the rat and also my friend Chili, she's stopping at um, Kim's which is like a Korean restaurant in town um, and she's going to pick me up some food from there. So honestly, I'm just going to grab a little snack for now. Let's get out of this bed. Sure. Because we deserve it. We sure do. We deserve it. Um, um, so it is 11.14 no. at night. <laughs> we were losing our minds <laughs> trying to finish this business problem set, but it's going really good. We're on question four. Wait, wait. You want to show them something? Who the baby daddy? It's day 69 of my pregnancy. <laughs> Who the baby daddy? It's growing. <laughs> Jesus, bitch. <laughs> what equation are we using? Uh, minus one half mb1 squared or mbi squared. Uh, number six. What? Oh my god. <laughs> no, pull it down. No. no. <laughs> Who are you waving at, my camera? <laughs> no, Monique. <laughs> I thought you could. Yeah, Kim, are you serious right now? Are you using your pencil? Yes. <laughs> this is pure insanity. We've been going crazy for two hours now. Like, this cannot be real. This cannot be real. I already got my Oh wait, exam reveal on camera? This is <laughs> so natural. Ooh. No, 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 do okay. I need this? My heart is like pounding no, now. No, because now our grades are in for physics. <laughs> At this point, I have no idea how much footage I have for this particular video, but I'm thinking I'll end it off. I don't know, I don't care. Anyway, it is Wednesday, December 1st. I don't, yeah, I didn't vlog today yet. And it is currently 10, 16 in the evening. First and foremost, why am I just now getting hit to Olivia Rodrigo? And her music is so good and the album, amazing. I've had a pretty good day today. Yesterday was also really good for me. I just had a, a really great two past days. Like these two consecutive days have just been really good for me mood wise. So that's really nice. I don't know why I'm not gonna question it though. I feel really good. I wanna show y'all my agenda. So I've gotten through basically everything that was on the agenda for today, which is nice. Um, I made an agenda earlier. So I'm gonna quickly show y'all what that's looking like. So I once again was able to do my morning routine, which is nice. I went through the study guide for math. I just have to go through a few practice problems before bed tonight. At dinner, phone call, I had work for, I had to do work for a class and then I present it. I haven't reviewed for bio yet because I'm going to do that tomorrow instead. I also had a meeting with a career advisor at my school for my summer internships and that went really well. 
I had my clear meeting earlier and then I went to my physics help session and I gotten through a little over half of the problem set. I'm going to finish that tomorrow hopefully and now we just have math to do. So yeah I mean I think it's been a pretty successful day. Definitely really really sleepy right now. I don't know if you can tell. I probably don't seem all that sleepy. I did I did just get out of the shower wash my hair which is nice. Got on my jammies so I feel nice and clean and good. Um, and so I feel a little bit less tired. I also had class from 7 30 to 9 30 and we had it over zoom so I think that made me even more tired you know zoom classes and for two hours not you know not the best thing in the world so I think that really made me more fatigued going to finish off my night study for math so let's get straight into that Let me show y'all what we are working with so my math professor he actually creates a study guide for us and we're able to go through the study guide and kind of fill in the blanks and he essentially just tells us the main topics and what we should know about those topics so for example he'll say derivative, understand how to apply the algebra de derivatives, um, understand how to, what's the definition of the derivative, um, like the technical mathematical definition of stuff. Here's the study guide that he gave us and then I create another document and I essentially take notes of everything that it says and I, for example, if he asks for a definition, I define what it means to me in my own words, what I find when I go back through my notes, and then what I find on YouTube if I need like additional examples. And I put all of that here and then highlight it um, after each bullet point are some of the worksheets that he recommends we go back to um, for examples. So that's really nice. I'm going to start off with reviewing here. So that's the study. I'm going to print this out tomorrow. So this is like two and a half pages long. And then also what I have here, I hand write a study guide on my iPad as well. Write like some of the definitions down because when you write things down you're more likely to remember them and you're better able to understand them and so that's essentially what I'm doing here and now I'm going to start going through a lot of the worksheets which I have pulled up here. So I'm going to go through basically most of these tabs. So these three tabs right here are, wait, these three I think are homework assignments and then the rest of these are in class worksheets. The homework assignments, I'm not going to review those thoroughly just because they are usually much more challenging than what's going to be on the exam. Um, but there are definitely some good examples and challenge, que challenge questions I can attempt. But I'm going to start off with the worksheets because he tells us to prioritize those ones. Most of our estimated uh, mid-semester grades and my grade is an A right now. Um, so that's nice. I don't that to go to my head at all. Like I still want to study for this exam. And also, y'all, we had, I already told y'all this, we had a problem set due today so today by the start of class which was at 11 o'clock and that meant what that meant that um i couldn't start studying for something is not right with this tea packet i'm not drinking it you blew it that meant that i am just now starting to study for this exam sleepy I don't know what to do it's 11 7 and you know what working for 30 minutes is better than working for zero minutes so we're gonna go to sleep um we're gonna try and study tomorrow well we're definitely gonna study tomorrow because we don't have much of a choice because the exam was on Friday and then after that it's above me it's no longer my responsibility it's no longer any of my business what happens after I'm done studying and after I take that exam I'm excited to sleep um y'all have a good night if you're watching this at night I don't know what's happening I'm gonna go to sleep bye bye uh, uh, yeah. Shit it on a mm. Yeah, I just shit it on a radiator. Mm. Mm. Yeah, this is what shit it on. And you used to be here, now you're gone. There. Do not come out to ask if I knew. Come on, Dad. Something that I should know. My foolish heart. Did you hang up on me? I'm talking to Kiasta. Why she's she is so evil. She hung up on me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
Thank you so much. Water time. Got kiosk on face time. Okay. Hey. Oh, look, she looks so cute, right? I can't hear her, but what? Y'all know she be acting weird. Friends, so we are currently at Lupita's. And he has to talk to me, but I'm gonna ignore her right now. I'm talking to y'all. And yeah, I just had a work meeting, and y'all, my friend and my other friend, we cracked the code. We cracked the code, and so I think I'm gonna be switching my major to the top side because black women in STEM, that's why. And actually, I see why that stuff can be addicting. It was fun. Uh huh. I got up. Hello. The light looks kind of good right here, or the sun is hitting very nicely. I'm sitting at my window eating some eggs. <laughs> I am here to close off this vlog. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting. And I will see y'all in the next vlog. Bye.